Hello, sisters. I've been seeing a guy a little over three months now. He seemed to like me a lot initially, but he's beginning to withdraw because he feels I'm not expressive and fun loving. It's partly true though, but I've told him several times that I was brought up in a way that made me timid and I'm only now learning to overcome it. He finds it difficult because difficult to believe because uh, we're friends and we've been friends for a long time before he started showing interest in me. Um, he feels we've known each other for too long for me to still feel that way around him. The truth is, I love fun. I just don't know how to express it. I'm trying to improve, but it's hard and he doesn't understand. I feel like letting him go so I can focus on myself, but I also feel I need to talk to him again. I've noticed he's been talking to uh, a, his ex a lot and some other person lately. I see how they vibe exactly how he wants me to be, and I'm worried. What should I do? All right. So, Gail, mm -hmm. since you're our superstar sister, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Fresh child, I know, I know. Um, what would you say? Wow. Um, you see, when it comes to relationships, uh, people... Um, make the mistake of thinking that because you and someone get along so well, you've been friends for so long, people think then it's a good foundation to build, I mean, start a relationship on. It doesn't really work that way. Because sometimes when you are with friends, there are no conditions. So um, you're able to maybe be yourself because you don't have too much, like I said, conditions. When you start dating, the dynamics are different. Mm. You have to be more... Um, accessible you have to be more accountable you have to be more um transparent about all your moves mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm making sense Absolutely. because you have to be because that's how you you build or you end someone's trust when you're open about everything your movement you have to be considerate about the person's feelings but if you're just friends and let's say maybe we're supposed to do something together and I end up disappointing. I mean, you may, you may be upset, but not as much as if you're in a relationship That's because right. then you'll be like, ah, but you, Charlie, what is the big deal? But if you're dating, you, you, you have to do things that you don't even have to do because you always have to think about how the other person is going to to date too. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to think about how the other person is going to respond to you. And then people also forget about the love language. Everybody has got their own love language. Mm. Everybody has um, how they express their love and how they receive it. So if you, if you try to speak a type of love language with somebody and the person doesn't understand it, they will never, ever get you. And if you are not what they are looking for, no, you can do everything. The person will never respond to you the way you want. Mm. So, for example, someone's love language is to buy gifts, give you money and stuff like that. And maybe my love language is, is time, communication. Maybe you go to the beach, walk at the beach, and just talk and just be intimate. So imagine if uh, you were my friend and you always buying stuff for me. Right. But because we're just friends, I couldn't really just say anything because you're just friends. So if you want to buy me gifts, I won't be like, oh, let's I'll insist that we should go and spend time somewhere else just because... Um, that's what I want. Mm. But when in a relationship, like I'm saying, you either you try and understand the person's language and meet them halfway, or you don't, you don't uh, be in a relationship with the person at all. So what I'm just trying to say is that they made a mistake trying to date just because they think they are friends. Because she keeps saying, the guy is saying that um, he doesn't understand why she's not responding Open. to him the way he wants mm -hmm. and because we've been friends for so long and why are you acting that way and she says yeah she loves fun but she's just not maybe clicking with him the way he wants and so now he's looking for satisfaction elsewhere to other people mm. you know so i'm thinking that sometimes it's best when you leave friendship the way it is because okay. you end up just hurting people unnecessarily because for you know they've had a good friendship and, and it's been going on well. So now that you bring in a relationship that has different dynamics, it's like, now, see how she's already feeling after just three months. Right. But when they were friends, she, she, I don't think she, fine, she yeah. felt that way. Yeah. So for me, I don't think she, she, she did the right thing to, 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 to start seeing the guy. Because relationships has different dynamics, like I'm saying. 
And you need to look at things like how compatible you are, how um, your communication goes like. Those things are very important. So if you're not compatible, there's no point. Right now, she finds herself in this situation, though. So wh what, what would you say she should do? I mean, she's not happy, obviously. Mm. You can tell from what she's saying. It's just three months. Even on a normal relationship, when you get... And I always say something. That relationships are not the same thing as dating. Dating someone is just getting to know someone on a potential... Level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romantic level. Mm. So when you date, you, get, you can date two or three people at the same time. Get to know each mm -hmm. and every one, how they are, how you connect with them. And then with time, if you feel like I'm, I'm gearing towards one particular person, you know, on on the same standards and stuff like that, then you can make it exclusive and then maybe get be serious. Mm. But people make the mistake of thinking just because there's a little connection or maybe he's great, I'm grateful to him for what he's been doing for me. Gratitude is not love. Right. You see? And so that's what she did and she just thought, oh, because we get along well. But now, she, I feel she should just get out of it. Mm. She should get out of it because obviously she's not happy and they are, they are not on the same page. Right. So I don't think she, 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 she should get out of it. Okay. Mm. Simple as that. Tina, you hold the same opinion? Um, yes, but um, I, I, I think that we need to, or as, as people, we need to study our friends and know and accept their disposition. It's all right to be someone who can't express themselves um, even when they're excited or when they're happy. But your friend knows you for who you are. And what, from what she's saying, the guy knows that that's how she is. Mm. And all of a sudden, he's expecting that she changes from, from a personality that he has known all his life to something that he thinks is ideal for him. And for me, I don't think that's where the problem is. Um, yes, like Gil said, you it, sometimes it's a mistake to move friendship into a relationship. But you being selfish to think that someone should change their disposition to fit what is your ideal in life is what I think is wrong here. Mm. So... How about the girl also thinking that he should all of a sudden not be a social person and mm -hmm. also be cool and be comfortable in their silence and just be at home and read and be and be happy? Mm. So, one, I think that is where the, where they've gotten it wrong. And so, if you don't feel like you can change, and I don't think you should necessarily change in three months, change your whole life to suit. To suit one person who who is already talking to his ex, mm. who is already talking to another lady, he's not focused. He mm. wants something. He's looking for something, but he yeah. hasn't found it. And he has an idea of what? what it should be like. And he's forcing it on whoever yeah, he yeah. thinks may be mm. that person. And so you are not that person. Trust me, someone will come along and love just the way you are. Mm. Like, he will be so thrilled that, oh, this person is not noisy. She's not, she doesn't laugh and she, she's not a social person. I just like her the way she is. So I think that three months is too early to change your personality. Right. And you are comfortable in yourself. You have also said that that is who you are. I don't think you should change. And so the relationship rather should change. Mm. Interesting one there. Mm. Um, Livy, do you have any um, thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, I agree with both Tina and Gail. I mean, relationship is about uh, two imperfect people coming together. Okay, they're not supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to be imperfect. Everybody's coming from different homes, different upbringing. And um, depending on how you grow, you know, your personalities also uh, grow along the line. I mean, I, I, I would love to, I'm um, using myself as an example. When I was growing up, I was such a bookworm. I was very introverted, always in my books. My twin sister would be, duh, 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 but I was very, you know, to myself. And I liked my quiet space. I'll be in the room. I'll read. You know, I didn't like to talk too much. And then I met my husband. 
Um, he was such a chatterbox, you know, he was very outgoing, very lively, and, you know, he says all sorts of crazy things, and I look at him and I go like, hey, Masa, <laughs> you know, but he, he appreciated who I was as a person, and um, the beauty about um, relationships that are open is that um, even though everybody is different in their own unique way, both parties are able to love and appreciate each other's differences and go together, together, not necessarily wanting to change each other. You can never mm. change anybody. Mm. So for me, this guy, my dear, um, he's going to make you grow up into something that you don't want to be. You end up being somebody that you're not. And then you start asking yourself questions that, Chale, one day you wake up, and you be like, Charlie, who have I become? All because what you want to please this other person. And it's about love. You know, if he loves you, he has to love you just the way you are. Um, he shouldn't try to change you. That's why sometimes when I hear statements like, oh, um, uh, we got married and men, I don't know what happened, the person has changed. It's because maybe um, the other party kept on suppressing the other person's yeah. inner being or who that person actually was. People don't allow people to be themselves, to grow, to show their true characters. Mm -hmm. So they think all sorts of things. Then when they get married, then Charlie is like, okay, finally I got what I wanted. Now let my yeah, true colors yeah. come out. My dear, be true to yourself. Okay, you owe it to yourself. This guy, he doesn't know what he wants. Um, he wants you to be something that you're not. So clearly you're not for him. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Okay, like T was saying, you find somebody who loves you just the way you are. You're cool, you're not loud, you're not this. Charlie, everybody has got their own beauty and it should be accepted and appreciated just the way they are. So don't be too hard on yourself. Let him, let him go. I mean, by all means, if you think that it's a friendship that you want to continue, why not? You guys were friends, continue to be friends. It was just not meant to be that kind of intimate, you know, husband and wife or boyfriend, girlfriend kind of relationship. And just, I mean, bury the hatchet and just have a fantastic life for yourself. And um, don't, um, while you decide to do this, I think that you should have that conversation with him and tell him. Tell him that, okay, you tried, you wanted to make it work, but it didn't work. And just cut things off. And try as much as possible to detach from him emotionally. Because what's going to happen is that you might end up being a pendulum. Because there's a thin line between that friendship that you have and that sort of supposed love that you feel. So you need to define exactly what you feel for this guy. Clearly, I don't think that you guys are actually meant to be. And define it and then sort of cut ties and put him in friend zone 100%. So that he won't come and worry you and use you as a spare tire. And by all means, enjoy your life. It's okay to break it off. There's nothing wrong with you. Um, and you're entitled to enjoy your life and then the way you are as a person. So um, I think you'll be fine. But cut it off with him. It's, it's not necessary to be in a, a relationship like that with him. Right. And really, I mean, just to reiterate what the ladies are saying, you know, it's hard when people try to mold you into something that you have been, you haven't been, been all your life. Yeah, yeah. Stuck in a routine. And, and I have a personal experience like that, and it was really exhausting mm -hmm. because I, I, I'm stuck in a routine where I know on weekdays, latest by, say, 9.30 p.m., I want to be in bed or asleep because I need to wake up early mm -hmm. by 4 a.m., get ready for the gym at 5. And I have a routine. So if he calls and it's past um, 9, 9 and yeah. I don't see it because my phone maybe automatically goes on silent mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that, Trouble. then it becomes an issue. And there's a whole, you're too busy, and, but I'm stuck in my ways. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so if, if I don't make a conscious effort to yeah. reel yeah. you in, yeah. Then, there'll always be yeah, conflict definitely and there's a conversation of, hey you never make time for me you're too busy <laughs> it's yeah it's, it's hard it's, it's exhausting. hard yeah. it's really exhausting yeah. as well so mm -hmm. i feel that if you can't fit into this guy's should i say cast mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. go elsewhere yeah, that go. you know you can yeah. mold in perfectly mm -hmm. it won't be easy but it's it's either or really mm -hmm. a couple of your comments um vincent says if you know it doesn't work let him go because you can't kill yourself for him to love you. Joy says, please work on yourself before going into any relationship. If you feel you don't love yourself, then work on it as well. Mm -hmm. But if you love yourself, why why then force yourself to become someone that you aren't? My sister, if he doesn't love you the way you are, 
someone else will. Norte says, what is there to work on? Just be you. You'll find the right suitor at the right time. If marriage po is no certificate to heaven, how much more mm. being a fun-loving person? Uh, work on your salvation. Why? That's more important. Patrick says, you can't key yourself. <laughs> Love is patient. If he meant what he said, he'll be patient with you. Mm. Understand and help you to come out of your whatever. Sika says, uh, the guy is being selfish and wicked because he must put himself in your shoes and bear with your limitations for now. If he cannot pass this simple test, he's not worth your time and effort. Um, another message from Ama says, never ever live your life to impress others. Just be you. Sure. Madame, you don't have to be timid just to know what you want and like and work on it if you feel something is missing be bold and confident in all your dealings in this life an anonymous message says a man who really loves you will stay with you and try to have fun with you look sister there's nothing wrong with you all i'm exactly like you don't let this intimidate you at all let him be look when you find a good man he himself will make you talk without knowing that you're doing it mm. and finally nena says read Find books you're intrigued by and read. Widen your reading, i.e. reading about everything. It will help thrash your timidity and help you to be more expressive, not just in words, mm. but in actions mm. as well. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates. Sister Sister, every Friday at 9 p.m., only on City TV.